All right, today is part two of the Apex seat swap on a MyRX Warrior. All right, so in case you're wondering of what part two actually is, basically I'm just gonna cut the tank. What I did is I kind of slid the seat up to it and then I left it in such a way where I'm thinking I'm gonna probably have to cut off more than this, but I'd rather start off with cutting not enough and then just trimming more and more and more as time goes on. But just gonna use a air Dremel and set you guys up on the stand right now. And then, uh, yeah, get to it, so. Sorry, I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been busy with this thing mainly and waiting on parts and stuff. And uh, like with the silly ass drive bearing, that took me forever to do. But all right, <clears throat> don't turn on the heater. You guys can see that probably. But I was thinking this is going to cut the plastic super quick, and I can do a good job too. So. <laughs> Of course, we're safety glasses. This is plumbing stuff at me. <clears throat> and I don't feel too bad about cutting into this tank cover because I have a tank bag on it and it's all scratched up anyway, so. So we're going to have the tank bag going back on it, actually, now that I think about it, because more storage is better, even though it's for the warrior seat, or the power corner seat. Got this welding helmet with that with the darkening lens out of it. I'm just gonna wear this. Don't get the stuff in the face. Hands are cold from that air. Right, I'm gonna stop the video for a bit. All right, I just cleaned up the tank a little bit, but now you test fit the seat. I'm gonna put it all the way on. Just like so. I'm not gonna secure it or anything, just make sure it looks good in the back. And then unscrew the gas cap. And, no, actually, that might be good. Well, no, it's not. So I can kind of close the gas cap, but not all the way. But I mean, hey, we're close. I mean, the tank covers at least on, and you can see where the screw's gonna go. It's just, I need to take more off of there. So I'll just do that and then come back once, uh, once I've got that done. 
it's you guys don't need to see me trim the tank and then trim it and trim it i'll just come back once i've done but basically it's a lot of test fitting and like i said you're better off taking not enough than too much because obviously you can remove can't add back okay after a lot of trimming it's done it's not perfect i mean you can see still got a little bit of room there and then you come around here you can see this side's actually holding it on to more but um yeah i'm just gonna tighten down the seat i got the sealer back on there got that tightened up and everything's good so you can see spins off spins back on so i've got no complaints but all right well thank you guys for watching this process the next thing to do is obviously um you bolt down the seat and then you put that shroud back on and then your two muffler covers and you're done. So yeah, enjoy your new ride height and uh, I would find some handlebar risers for your handlebars and then move them forward. I'm gonna probably have to reposition my brake and throttle but I did repos or I kind of moved them forward a little bit. Anyways, thanks for watching.